when we look at a next level laundry, we had to build a foundation for a successful business, a successful laundry. So we are headed to the Clean Show 2022 here in Atlanta. We walk in. The Clean Show is for laundry mats dry cleaner owners, operators, people who work in the hospitality industry to ensure that, you know, linens and stuff is clean, hospitals, things like that. And right now, we provide a wash, dry, and fold service for Airbnb vacation rentals here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm out of breath, because we're walking up here. Okay, I'm getting shaky. Okay. So yes, and we currently service Curtis. So we go in here, vendors, breakout sessions, um, people in the industry, you know, just started this. So we're new. Let's see. Let's see what we learn. Let's see what we get. Let's see who we meet. So we can grow this business. And I want to say this to whoever's watching, because I don't even know if I'm posted, but your business does not have to be sexy for you to make money. It doesn't have to be trendy. It doesn't have to be lashes, weave, shirts. Get into, I want to encourage more black people to get into the boring industries. Get into the industries where you probably are going to be one of few if not the only at the convention that service it. So like construction, concrete, whatever. Look into those industries and see there the, and know that there are opportunities outside of what's trendy. You know, we need more black people in other industries so that we can truly build an empire for our families, for ourselves, for our legacies, for our self-confidence. And so we can not just gain other people's respect, but respect ourselves. So that's all I wanted to say, head into the clean show. And I won't necessarily vlog everything, but take some videos and stuff, some vendors, see what's there. All right, peace. Got the logo. That is big. That is, that is very big. Like I said, it's got some design around it if you're growing into it. Call that? You dip chip? Okay. And you stop. But today? Too, right? Yes, but right now you've got suction that's sucking the wetlet. This is in wet. Today's Tuesday, so we came two days out of the four. <clears throat> but we had so much fun. We was like kids. We were like kids on the like floor where the vendors and stuff were hey, morning, were showcasing uh, what they're doing. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but that was fun. 
Yeah, man, they have, oh my God, we just met so many great people that want to share information. This okay, one guy, he um, runs operations um, in Alabama, on the Yoda, Alabama, I think is how you pronounce it. And uh, his clients are the all the casinos, all the heroes. And he, he invited Curtis and I over to Alabama to tour his facility. He's like, hey, I want to give back. Maybe you can help me, I can help you. And I'm just like, we there like we here. Like, Alabama's a hop skip away from where we live. So, um, we went over to Sense, ended up getting the tour by the CEO, like this huge funded company, San Francisco, like software company. Alex Jabowski, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. He gave us a tour. Not the tour. Well, yeah, like the tour, because they, they shit. Anyways, we signed up for his stuff. And just coming to conventions, conferences, like, really can take your business to the next level. So, we're going back in now. Um, <laughs> I saw some machines that, that I want. This one machine from Electro, Electrolux Professional. Bowls, everything wet so it dries it and holds it solving my people problem so i said ninety five thousand dollars why would i not invest in it because it's home <clears throat> tenfold the business you can do it faster okay. anyways so i encourage i encourage if you're everybody if you're in some type of industry whatever industry you're in go to the convention go to the conferences you will have opportunities that the internet cannot afford you because relationships are far more valuable than DMs and emails. Like we have faces, we shook hands. Well, not really cause you know, COVID and monkey box, but you know what I mean, <laughs> virtual hands versus like <laughs> actually being there. So I encourage everyone to, like I said, on day one, go into an industry that's not sexy or trendy and then that money can fund your sexy or trendy. So for example, right, you own a laundromat. It's not unreasonable for even a small laundromat in a good area to gross 500K a year, easy. Unattended, no dry cleaning. That might go do more. If you keep 40% of that, or even be, let's be conservative, 25% of that, then you take 10% of that, and then you can start your shea butter business your eyelash business, your travel concierge, sir, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like this one's that. Do something to fund that, to, to fund that, to fund that. Like you work your nine to five and you fund your 401k. How y'all doing? Good. You work your nine to five to fund your 401k, your retirement. So why not have your entrepreneurship, I'm sorry, your business to fund um, the other things. But yeah, get into the industries where it's less of us. Everybody look like that. <laughs> Some of them over there. Everybody look like that, old and white. So like, they're not gonna be here forever. So we're young, we're fresh, we got different ideas. Um, yeah, so we the ones, you the chosen one. So just go for it. And um, I believe in you. All right, peace out, we going in now. I just wanna say this right quick. The education part of coming to a convention it's unmatched. Like we just learned something that we didn't even think about. Like it never even dawned on us. We're also new to the industry. We not that new though. But the education that you get, don't worry about those ticket prices, man. Man, how much it costs us to come here? $150? How would I spend $150 on? A whole bunch of BS. Go to the conventions, go to the conferences, learn education, man. All right. Shopping some more.